All right, guys. Today we're going to be doing our first price analysis of Miro. It has a very limited history, so we have to. Basically, the only tool we have to use is Fibonacci retracement, and we come down from the bottom to the high. And we could see here. Now, I'll honestly just start off by saying that right here, I'm seeing a reversal, and. The reason I'm seeing that is because this candle here just looks like a reversal candle to me. I try to stick to a very slim number of uh, candle types and uh, signals to make trades, but when I have limited information, I have to use other things. This is a candle that I do reference a lot. When you have wicks on both ends, it signifies that it very likely could turn to the downside. Could be wrong. For the people holding this coin, I always hope you make a lot of money doing it. But I do see this as a reversal coin. Uh, excuse me, a reversal price right now of 14 cents. Good for you guys. I remember when I looked at this coin, I you know, te technically called it a scam around 7 cents a few weeks ago, maybe a week or so ago, and uh, could have doubled my money. But if you watch my channel, you know that this just isn't the type of coin that I get involved with. Um, but we want to draw a path here after we draw a line of support. I see a line of support right around here. This was a place where we sort of really hung around for a while, had some time, had a hard time getting above it. So I would imagine it would be very likely for us to get back down to this area. There is no other support otherwise, and it also is just kind of aligned with the Fibonacci. So if we're drawing a path, very likely that we're going to be dropping down from here, I would say a slow teeter, and then right back down to the support line if things don't turn around from there, it's very likely that we could come back down to about, I'm going to put it in between the Fibonacci and here, uh, and the bottom of these candles, because there's just some range here that we could hover in. I'll also draw another line of support. We'll call it uh, secondary support right here, dashed line. Um, so I would say right here is where we could expect to stop off, if not a secondary low back to back down to about four cents, five cents. And then from there, we could look to get back more up to the upside. I am also going to just right here and now draw a line of resistance at the 15 cent range. I don't see us moving past that in the short term. Uh, because, again, very limited information with what we have here, but we hit it two days ago, we closed below it today, or yesterday, and uh, we opened below it. We are in the green, but, you know, there's still 20, 21 and a half hours left in the day. There's a lot of lock that can happen. And I just see that it's time for a turnaround uh, consolidation in this range again back down to about eight cents possibly down to five cents both of these would be buy areas if you are looking to trade I don't have a platform to trade this on I do all my trading on coinbase so that is where if I can't add stop losses I don't trade it it's just that simple here we could draw another line of secondary resistance and that would be the 23 cent range. That will be the next stop to the upside when the time comes. We are, I don't think we're ready for that yet, but you never know. I'm more than happy to be wrong and admit that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I see going on from Miro. It looks like it's going to be uh, a couple, a couple week or two uh, downturn and then hopefully more upside for you guys. Wish you the best in your trading. 
and the coins you purchase. If there's a coin you want me to do a video on, just comment that down below. Uh, and I will definitely consider making a video on that. A lot of the best recommendations come from you guys in the community. So I do appreciate that. Thank you. And I'll see you guys on the next video.